Welcome back guys to another Boom Beach video. I'm here on my HQ25 account and today we're gonna have some fun with the Rainmakers. Now, the Rainmakers, if you don't know, are a tank-like proto troop. There's three total of these proto troops. There's the Rainmakers, there's the Critter Cannons, and then there's the Lasertrons. And I have to say, the Rainmakers, in my opinion, are the strongest and the best to use. They all have different abilities, different ranges, a lot of you guys know what they are, so I'm not going to go over the differences between them. But we're going to just load up all Rainmakers today and have some fun. This is 16 maxed out Rainmakers. So let's boost up our resource reward a little. And let's also boost up our energy because I don't know if we'll have enough energy to land all of our troops. So uh, yeah, let's just jump into some battles. I don't really know how it's going to go. And also, this is not the right hero for this challenge. Yeah, I definitely had to boost up my energy. Otherwise, I would not be able to drop all of my troops at once. Look at this. <laughs> the perfect base to start off with. All of my Rainmakers firing around the same time. It just looks so cool. I love Rainmakers. Rainmakers are definitely one of my favorite abilities. A lot of people say Lasertrons are better. Maybe not a lot of people, but I just, I don't understand why people think that. Granted, Rainmakers uh, don't deal a ton of damage, but then again, none of these tank proto troops really deal a lot of damage. The Lasertrons don't really deal a lot of damage. These only do a lot of damage because there's so much splash damage. But a base that has their defenses spread out, I feel like it might be a little bit more difficult. So we did lose two. I don't even know how that happened. It might have been the rocket launchers. It might have been a boom cannon that uh, my Rainmaker slipped into range. I don't really know. But we're going to bring Bullet this time to tank on the front lines and then my uh, troops to follow. So I think the biggest thing is just spreading out your Rainmakers. There's really no reason you need to clump them up. You could definitely spread them out super far. And that will allow them to... Um, that will allow them to hit different defenses because you know what I've talked about this for bombardiers for a lot of different troops it's really bad if your troops are clumped up and they're all targeting the same defense that's really bad unless it's like a defense you're trying to take out for an operation or something but if it's just a player base if it's anything else besides like you're trying to take down this 100,000 HP rocket launcher in an operation base your troops really should not be firing all at the same defense. That's really bad. Because what will happen is they'll all fire at that one defense. When all of your troops fire at one defense, that defense is going to go down in a couple shots usually. So then the rest of those fires are just wasted. And you just wasted a couple seconds that you could have been taking out other defenses. So I can showcase what that is in, uh, in a bit. We'll flare here and we'll try to demonstrate I'm just trying to get all my rainmakers together I'm gonna demonstrate what I mean on this rocket launcher that's kind of hidden in the trees might be a little difficult so yeah just trying to get all of my rainmakers to the same spot so none of them hit the rocket launcher and I can show you what would happen if your troops all clumped up so just making sure they're all in the same spot okay drop a flare to that rocket launcher you can see a couple of them fired the rest of them fired and then they had to redirect to a different defense or a different building. Now that time they weren't all in sync. Usually they get in sync when you drop a smoke, but I'll show you in the next battle, I'll try attacking a base from one specific side and you'll see it a lot there. So we'll go from this side. We'll drop all of my Rainmakers on the right hand side. They're all gonna clump up. They're all gonna target the same defense and it's gonna really hurt me. So a couple of them fire at the closest defense. Now I have to readjust, and you can see how my Rainmakers aren't really dealing a lot of damage. They're literally all just firing at the exact same defense over and over again, and it's not helping. Really, really bad. And now they're starting to spread out, and spreading out allows me to hit so many more defenses all at once and it really does make a huge difference. So, activate my hero. My hero, two times in this battle, has been very, very close to dying. Now, pretty much full HP. I love bullet energy drink. It's definitely one of my favorite hero abilities. And now that my troops are spread out, 
able to wipe down the base. Now, I guess there are some exceptions to this rule. Like I mentioned, operation bases. Another one is warriors. Obviously, it's fine if warriors are all hitting the same defense. But pretty much every other troop, you want them to be somewhat spread out. I mean, there are certain combinations like Kuka, and if you spread out your troops too much, your heavies on one side might die and then your Zookas would die. So for that case, it's probably better if you clump up your Kuka combination, but pretty much every other troop combination, you want to make sure that your troops are spread out and that will allow you to take down the base in the fastest amount of time and also uh, you have a better chance of winning the base. Um, in, in my opinion, that's just what I've noticed when I play Boom Beach. Not really something I've talked about a ton. I definitely have talked about uh, spreading out your troops in reference to bombardiers. Bombardiers, it's really dramatic because they fire once every couple seconds, every like, five seconds it seems like. So it's really bad if they all target the same defense. But yeah, Rainmakers are really cool and I'm really happy we have them. Also, we saw October in Boom Beach. We're gonna be getting some fun stuff for Halloween, which I am super pumped about. They always do some fun stuff in Boom Beach, so uh, we'll see what that Mega Crab is like. Um, sometimes they'll bring out the little taunt towers. Sometimes they'll have like the scary mortars. So I'm guessing they're gonna have scary mortars. That's kind of a staple. The scary mortars, of course, are regular mortars, but the bullets that hit your troops causes your troops to go into disarray. They'll start walking all over the place, they won't follow flares, and it's literally the worst defense in my opinion. <laughs> you know, I hate it more than CMOS, which is hard to believe. You guys know how much I hate CMOS. They hurt so many troop combinations when you're a low level. I think the scary mortars are worse than CMOs, and I'm glad we only see them during one, one Mega Crab a year, during the Halloween Mega Crab. Because I would, uh, it would drive me crazy if I had to attack bases that had scary mortars. That would suck. That would really suck. Okay, so far so good. We're just clearing my base. Um, I'm getting very close though to running out of player bases, so that is not good. I see one more on the right hand side, so let's attack that. Jeez, uh, yeah, I need a couple more million loot to pull off the next landing craft upgrade, which I would absolutely love to do today, but I just do not see that happening. I don't see a landing craft upgrade happening today, but. You know, I do want to get a big expensive armory upgrade. My riflemen are finishing. I think last video I started my riflemen upgrading to max. So now I should have maxed out riflemen. Finish in a couple hours, so I'll probably just gym that up and start something after this battle. Yeah, these are crazy. Like, they deal so much damage. I'm curious if higher level players use the Rainmakers at all. I would assume so and just bring a hero to counter everything else. Because, I mean, the biggest threats to this combination are prototypes, so the Doom Cannon and the Shock Blaster. Grappler, actually, Grappler is probably the worst threat to this combination. And then there's the Rocket Launchers and Shock Launchers, which wouldn't really do much against them. They have a lot of HP that can pretty much tank whatever. But yeah, they're definitely the biggest prototype that would counter this combination would be the grappler. The grappler would tear this combination apart. Okay, I believe that's all of the player bases. Let's just collect some diamonds here, something I kind of forget to do once in a while. Yeah, dang, I was hoping to get a little bit more loot. That wasn't really a lot, and that makes me a little sad. Now I still have Dr. T I can go to and attack, but it's not looking good, but we do get a million stone. We'll grab the shards too. I want to get some more resource reward up in here. We'll destroy that. We'll start building another guardian. Okay, I said I would gym this up. 29 diamonds. Make sure you guys are using code COSMIC. These are the upgrades we can do. Now I'm going to attack Dr. T. That might get me about a million more gold. So I could kick off a medic or a Zuka upgrade. But you know what? I do need some of these cheaper upgrades. I'm never really pressed for gold in a typical day. So I think I'm just going to do the artillery upgrade. Then my artillery will deal 8,000 damage each. 
instead of 7,500. That's actually a big improvement, and we'll just go from there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like as always, and I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.